Okay everyone, welcome to FarmYip's first tutorial for Giants Editor 2015 or Farming Simulator 2015 using Giants Editor. This video really is uh, designed for people to make the very first uh, attempts at making a map from basically just your desktop screen which you can see in front of me just now to actually downloading the editor that you need and a map to start editing. So if you've never uh, dabbled with any kind of map making before this is the first video to start with. I will assume at this point that you do have a copy of Farming Simulator 2015. You will need a copy of 2015 not one of the older ones because this procedure will be just for 2015. Um, you may well have caught some of my earlier videos that was for versions 2011 and 2013 those actual videos if you watch them are still quite appropriate for 2015. Uh, first of all, things. first thing we're going to do is, or first thing I'm going to explain, is that all the uh, a, a, the a files and programs that you're going to need, I will put a link for each one of them under this presentation. So if you go into click on other information under the video, uh, just go to the links there and you will be able to download everything you need to make a map. So we're assuming at this point, obviously, that you've got a copy of the game, Farming Simulator 2015, and the way I'm doing it is based on the Steam version. If you have the uh, downloaded version directly from Giants, it's more or less the same. The only difference is that some of the, the uh, locations will be different. First thing we've got to do is go to Giants developer website. Uh, you'll get this link here. I'll put it down or the actual link that you need, I will put down on in the description. Now you will need to register. It's free of charge, but as soon as you register and log in, you'll be presented with, presented with this screen. Click on Downloads. And the first thing we want to do is download uh, the version of editor that we need, which in this case will be Giant editor to here, version 6.0.3, either 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on your system. For me, it would be the 64-bit, so just click on that and simply download it. Now, I'm going to cancel that because I've already done it. There is also other things here you may be interested in. These are all the exporters and things. If you're using 3ds Max and Blender for, and Maya, for example, that's mostly for uh, making mods rather than maps. This down here for Farming Simulator 2015, that's a sample mod if you wanted to make a sample, uh, you know, to learn how to mob, uh, make mods, you would download that. And that is the sample mod map, which is basically the default map for 2015 that you can play around with. However, that's a little bit tricky because you don't get all the uh, i3d files in there. So I'm going to show you a better method than using that at the moment. But you're certainly going to need the editor. So download the editor, find it in your files, and run it and install it. Once you've installed it, you'll see this yellow symbol will appear either on your desktop or, like I do, in the taskbar at the bottom here. Uh, and that is the editor that you need to edit, ma edit maps. So download that one, install it, then come back or go back online and go to FSUK. Again, the um, link for this I will give you in the description below. What you need to do is change this to Farming Simulator 2015. Then click on Maps. Well, let's go to the actual main folder. Make sure that says Farming Simulator 2015 after clicking on Mods, of course. Uh, 2015 then on maps and then I think it's about the second page click on next second page you'll see this my blank starter map click on that and you'll notice this has been downloaded or uploaded by Robbie so many thanks to Robbie for doing this the reason why I like this blank starter map will become apparent later or maybe even a different tutorial but just click on download the mod um, click download, your download will start that's it there, I've already done it so I'm going to cancel that another program, you go, once, you've, once you've started that just 
uh, download that map and we'll come back to that in a minute. Another program you're going to need, which is far, far better uh, to use, is Notepad++. Again, this is a free um, piece of software and all this is just a bit like Notepad, but it's better for do it, for changing scripts, which you have to do a little bit of, but I'll be very minimal uh, amount of scripting involved. So just click on, on download, the, the latest releases up the top there, in fact this download button here, and install that as well. All that is is notepad, but it's easier to see. Now, what you will get now is the downloaded map, which will be in a zip file. There, and it will just say map. Uh, it'll be in a zip file, which we need to unzip. And the best way to unzip this is to open up your my uh, your documents folder, my games, and then 2015 Farming Simulator 2015. If you don't have this, then run the game once at least, and it will make it. You will then, if you open Farming Simulator 2015, you'll see there's a folder there called Mods. All the mods that you're making and maps that you're making must be in this folder to work. Now I've got one there called Silence Much. This that's the one I do in my Twitch stream, which I'll tell you about shortly. But we want to unzip this file map into a new folder. So we click on New Folder and we call it whatever we want to call it. And we'll call it My New Map. Open that folder so that now we've got it opened and it's all empty. If I'm going too fast for you, by the way, just feel free to pause the video at any time and then you can come back to it, rewind it, this, that and the other. Click on uh, the map because we want to um, unzip it. We select where we want to unzip it to, which is this folder here. So we've got libraries, my documents, um, my games. Click on that, Farming Simulator 2015, then Mods, then My New Map. As soon as you've got that bit selected, just click OK and it will unzip. And it will unzip directly into here. I'll just give that a quick refresh so that it shows properly. Now we've got uh, a map folder, we've got the vehicles folder and all these little files here. Double click on the map folder and then you'll see this magic little um, program here. This little, It's called an i3d file. That is the main map i3d file. To do any kind of map working or or any kind of equipment, that's the file you're looking for. And it'll have, it should have the little symbol there if you've installed Giants Editor. Double click on that. Uh, I've got two different versions available, so it gives me the choice, but if you've only got the one, it'll just open up straight away Giants Editor. All I will do now is show you very, very briefly how this map starts in the editor. And then we'll come back and I'll show you how to actually do anything in the editor. First of all, as soon as you start up, you'll be presented with that kind of screen. The good thing about this um, particular um, starter map is that it is completely flat and completely blank apart from all the buildings are all shoved up into this corner which is really good because you can go through it sift through what you want and then put it on the map where you want it and the cow zone, sheep zone and chicken zone are all visible there which you can move as well. How to do all that will be shown in various different uh, tutorials which I'll show you. But feel free to rewind the uh, video as much as you want, have a look through it, see if you can, uh, if you need to go back through things again and all those different procedures. If you still have a bit of problems or at any time, if you go onto my Twitch channel and that's the, uh, the link there which I will put in the description below this video, you can come onto that Twitch channel at any time when I'm, I'm streaming live and I will be showing you um, how to make maps and answer questions live on the channel. All you have to do is ask a question and I'll try and answer that question for you. 
I've only been doing it for a couple of weeks. I've got 250 followers already, and it's proven quite popular. So any problems with the video, feel free to come on the Twitch channel or send me an email or go visit my uh, Facebook page or the rest of the videos on the YouTube channel. That concludes this very, very short video just to get started. That's basically all you need to get started. The next video will show you how to set up the editor prior to making any changes. One quick thing I didn't mention, which I should have done, is this name that you come up with for your map, in my case, my new map, make sure there are no spaces in that name, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so that was tutorial number one, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.